What is up, people on the internet? JQL here, back with another video. In today's video, I have another custom Lego video on my custom Lego minifigures from various uh, animes. Here, we, from left to right, we have Jin Mori from God of High School, Naruto from the OG Naruto show, and Dor uh, almost called him Dororo. Hyakimaru from Dororo. Uh, I just moved the figures, that's okay. Um, from the original, uh, well, not the original, the 2019 ver version of Dororo. And uh, yeah, overall, really happy with how these guys turned out, so let's just get into it. All right, here is the OG Naruto from the OG Naruto show. That was a mouthful. Um, yeah, so I've been wanting to make this version of Naruto for a very long time. This is the Naruto I grew up watching, and yeah, so I finally did it, and I think it turned out pretty great. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but compared to my last version, uh, yeah, pretty big difference. And as you can tell, he does have a shortened legs, uh, custom shortened legs made by me. They are posable, and uh, yeah, so if you want to know how to make these, uh, long story short, uh, it's not exactly the easiest or the best uh, process. Uh, you basically have to take normal pair of legs. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab the Shippuden legs. Uh, I literally cut them in half, like right where that uh, top of the black line is, and then I cut off the like shins and then re-glued on the feet part. And yeah, it's not exactly the cleanest or the easiest process, but it's just what I do because I can't. Well, it's really hard to find the Harry Potter legs um, for a good price, and also, I'm broke, uh, trying to save money here, and yeah, so that's that's how I save money, even though technically it's not really doing that. But anyway, uh, he has posable legs, so that's cool, now we can do his Naruto run, or whatever, um, and yeah, so here's the uh, accessory, it's a custom kunai, it's very bad, uh, but yeah, I just grabbed one of these, like, rivet pieces, rods, and then sculpted on the knife, sculpted on the... Um, end part and yeah there's this kunai and originally this was actually meant for kakashi but i decided to give it to this naruto because you know i thought he looked um a little bland without it so anyway um moving on to the actual figure here is the arm this part is sculpted not the, exactly the cleanest part of the figure um but yeah um it's there it's a little too big i think i could make it a little smaller but that's okay and the uh, pouch on his leg is sculpted out of Procreate. The pouch on his butt is also sculpted out of Procreate. And the little Uzumaki symbol right there is sculpted out of Procreate. And then there's his collar, which is actually uh, also sculpted by out of Procreate. And I just really like how the collar turned out. Because um, I didn't know how to do that with my Shippuden uh, figure. So I'm really glad I figured out how to do it here. And the painted face like turned out really great. I'm really happy with how it turned out. The only thing I don't like is that you can't see his eyebrows which I uh, did paint, but they're just, you know, covered by the uh, headband. Um, and yeah, the hairpiece also sculpted, and it's actually fully sculpted, 100% uh, by me, out of Procreate, and it was a pain in the butt, but I finally got around to finishing it, and I think it turned out really great. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for the OG Naruto figure. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and let's just move on to the next figure. All right, here we have Jin Mori from the God of High School. Uh, just from season one, not from, you know, the webtoon or whatever. Um, yeah, pretty simple figure for the most part. Uh, uh, basically, I just, you know, used the normal white torso and painted on some wrinkles. The arms are fully painted. I painted on the flesh using my own flesh color. And uh, the little waist, uh, I think it's supposed to be, what is this even? Like, is this jacket or something? It's wrapped around his waist. Uh, it's basically a separate piece that can be removed, but I'm not going to remove it. Uh, the legs are just blue, and then I painted on his shoes, and then the face is fully painted by me. Overall, really happy with how it turned out. Um, I didn't, I don't think it completely nails his look. I don't know. He just has, like, a lot of different facial expressions. I just, I just landed on this one to make it look Lego-ish, and yeah. Uh, pretty happy with how it turned out, but I just feel like it still doesn't really look like him. But the best part about this figure is definitely the hair piece. It nails, um, his look very well. It's not perfect, obviously, but... You know, I think it turned out really great, and yeah, I just really like looking at it. It's really great. Very simple figure. I didn't even post that on my Instagram because he's very simple. There's really not much to go into, so I decided not to post them. Um, but yeah, overall, really happy to have this figure turned out, and uh, that's really it. There's really not much else to talk about with this guy, so yeah, let's just move on to the last figure. All right, our last figure in this video is Hyakimaru from Dororo. Uh, this is a very good anime, or at least the 2019 version, that's the only version I've watched. Um, got recommended it, uh, by my sister, we sat down and watched the entire, well, both seasons, and yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed the story and all that, so if you're into, like, older, like, setting, um, anime, then you'll definitely like this one. 
Um, so yeah, let's start off with the hairpiece. It's fully sculpted by me, minus the base. The base is a Widow's Peak hairpiece. Then I sculpted the bangs. You can see uh, I did paint on both eyes. Originally, I wasn't going to do that, but I did. And then um, I sculpted his ponytail thing. And this little waist, or not waist, uh, the little cloth that he has, it's... Um, where is it from? It's like from this ghost figure from one, like the Halloween series or something. Um, it is removable, and uh, this is what it looks like without the thingy on. Um, the torso is fully painted by me. The arms are slightly sculpted, and the waist cape is also um, made by me using an index card and some tape. And one thing I wanted to do with this figure is um, I painted the legs a little different colors because you know he's missing his body parts spoiler um the this is his actual leg and this this one's like the prosthetic one i wanted to do that um because i thought it'd be cool uh, you know to have this like the, the different colors to dip, uh, distinct them and another feature i really uh am happy with is the arms the arms are removable and um underneath obviously they the blades can't really fit there so I came up with the idea of making separate pieces for the blade. So both arms can be removed and both blades can be put on. So that way it looks like he um, is ready to fight and stuff like that. So yeah, really cool feature. Uh, if I were to do it nowadays, I'd probably just use magnets, not just pegs that I sculpted. Um, but yeah, that that's just how it happens. And yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for Hyakimaru. Uh, really happy with how this figure turned out. It's very simple for the most part, but yeah. Anyway, let's just wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. Also, if you like what you see here and you want to see more customs made by me, then make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already, so that I will be notified for my next video whenever that comes out. Uh, just kind of slowing down with the videos. Uh, I haven't posted in a bit, so uh, just trying to make more videos uh, eventually. Um, customs are getting slower and slower. Uh, I am working on a couple projects at the moment. I have like two projects that I want to finish. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know what comes after that, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, what else do I usually say at the end of these? Um, oh, Instagram. Uh, follow my Instagram, uh, link in the description below. I do post my, uh, work in progress photos over there and also post my finished customs, uh, there before I post them on here. So yeah, check it out. Pretty good stuff over there. And, uh, yeah. So thank you guys once again so much for watching and I guess I'm just gonna wrap it up. So thank you guys the third time for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever or whatever video that'll be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.